अनरेस्ट इन कश्मीर कंटिन्यूज टू टेक अ टोल ऑन द स्टेट्स टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री जो बाहर का मीडिया दिखा रहे हैं न्यूज़ पे यहाँ कश्मीर में ऐसा है ऐसा है बाकी यहाँ कुछ नहीं है टूरिस्ट लोग बेचारे डर रहे हैं आने से हम मतलब पर डे हमको तीन चार राउंड लगता है डल लेक में इस टाइम कम से कम वन वीक्स में दो राउंड भी नहीं रहता है टूरिस्ट को हम वेलकम कर रहे हैं टूरिस्ट आना चाहिए उनको हम वेलकम कर रहे हैं आओ यहाँ अगर हालात खराब है कम से कम देखो तो It is because after Burhan Wani killing, the Indian media was completely against the Kashmiri tourist business, against the Kashmiri, and whatever they have shown, if you could see the way they have reflected on their screens, like it seems like you know if somebody is getting down from the railway station or somebody is getting down from the plane, the first thing what he would face is to somebody would pelt a stone on me. All media channels who are completely against the Kashmiri business. who are like completely selling their trp and they are making for their trps they are making kashmiri as a scapegoat In the early and mid 90s as militancy peaked over 9000 incidents of violence drove tourists away from the valley In the later 90s as violence eased some tourists returned to the shikaras in houseboats But after the terror strike on the parliament in December 2001 as India and Pakistan almost went to war tourism suffered yet again What brought back hope in Srinagar was a steadier Indo-Pak peace process between 2003 and 2012. But growing stone pelting and a fresh surge in militancy since 2015 have seen businesses faltering. Tourists associate Kashmir with images of unrest they see on TV and stay away. Last year, if, uh, there would have been an, uh, in people of one lakh people visiting Kashmir. Right now, there are only thirty thousand. There has been a decline of seventy percent. So, is there any impact of the ongoing protests that go yes, on? Yes, definitely, it has a huge impact because every uh, right now there is an WhatsApp media era going. If, if a single thing happens, it's just being broadcasted all over all the parts of India. And even if it happens in the border area or in all uh, certain area which is which are very far away from the tourism places, still it's being mentioned. It's it has happened in Srinagar. <laughs> Burhan Wani's killing basically uh, just triggered something, and uh, it had a ripple effect. Then you know one incident after the other. But then there's media propaganda that is continuously running around Burhan Wani's killing and the days after that. Mm -hmm. 